So this is day two of the modular system reorg, getting coffeeed up. Yesterday I rearranged to set up six new voices. Stereo chords driven by an E352 forms the harmonic foundation. A stereo pair of CS80 style filters for a sizzling mid-range. Bass with the classic 440 filter. Lead also with a 440 filter and stereo wandering noise driven by a modem 410 triple filter. Eight outputs on the right side for recording, and the whole system is driven by three modem 650s lined up on the far left side. Those 650s take MIDI and convert it to controlled voltage to drive the modular. And so here's the challenge for today, how to interface with them. Well, I was using Machine, which connects to the computer by USB and then has three MIDI output ports. Uh, but that locks me into using Machine, uh, which I don't even want to get into talking about, and then also running their additional software. And when you're in that additional software, you're truly in the box, in the box, in the box. I just found that really uh, hampering. And then you've got to export the MIDI import it into your DAW. I'm using the window. And so we end up back in the DAW anyhow, just with a lot of work. But actually, the window has incredible MIDI capabilities. Uh, so I realized, well, why am I doing this? So this just arrived, the Kenton through 5, which will replace the machine MIDI ports. So we can unplug these. And then we can take this and roll it right out of the studio. The Kenton is straightforward. There's truly nothing you could mess up. I've got one MIDI in from the computer and then three MIDI outs to the modem 650s. Now we're in new window and need to get the software set up. The trick, and it's the real trick here, is to use external instruments. I've been on Nuendo for 20 years. I, maybe everyone knows this. I'm the only one who didn't know. Uh, but this is really great. External instruments are hybrid tracks. Basically, they allow you to record MIDI and send MIDI out to your external instrument. But then it also monitors the incoming audio from the analog world. So this is going to allow me to set up the modular as six different instruments inside the window. And at that point, they become functioning just like a normal track. So you can pan your modular, volume, add inserts, sends, everything works. The setup is a bit mind-boggling, though, so make sure to save it as a template. And first, just start a blank instrument track. Let's call it uh, Modem 650 New. Next, into MIDI Device Manager. And I've named my six modular voices so they have an identity in the window. That required clicking New Device and then Set Up New because it doesn't know Modem. Uh, give it a name and then just select what MIDI channel you want to send it on. So let's say channel 10 and then you can leave everything else default. Uh, but when you exit here you need to also set the physical MIDI port. So go to my new device and I'm going to send that out metric halo port 1. That's just a preliminary step you need to do. Now we're going to set up the real external instrument in audio connections. So you go to External Instruments tab, and you click Add a New External Instrument. This is going to be a mono channel. Uh, select the MIDI device we just created. Uh, it gives it the same name. Click OK. Um, so now it knows the MIDI output right there. So we're just going to assign the audio input so we can monitor. Also, you should click that favorite button. So this is saved. Now I just go back to the new instrument channel I created for the input. It could be my keyboard or just leave it all inputs. And for the output, it's this new external instrument, the modem 650 new. 
And the last step, you have to assign the port to 10. So the same port that we used for the MIDI device. A little bit annoying. But all these annoyances aside, now it's set up and my module is recognized as six instruments. So this is sending MIDI out to the modular sitting behind me and we're receiving audio back in to monitor. So strap yourself in, let's do a full walk around the studio following the signal path. Playing the keyboard sends MIDI through USB and then that is captured in Nuendo. Sending out Nuendo sends MIDI data through a USB run into an Apple external display and then out the USB port into a Metric Halo audio interface. Out of the Metric Halo MIDI port and going across the synth uh, down underneath where I strapped in the Kenton through 5. Now we're taking the single run of MIDI and we're splitting it into three. And that's going to go up into our three modem 650s. So from the Kenton splitter, I'm sending three identical copies. So on each modem 650, we have to say, what MIDI channel do you want to listen to? So this is hearing on channel three, and this voice group is going to hear channel uh, four. And I've got six voice groups set up on three modem 650s. Next, those 650s are sending controlled voltage through the synthesizer and out six audio outputs over here on the far right side and we've got additional two outputs here for the noise so our final eight track recording goes into a metric halo lio 8. you know what eight track is still the best you don't need 32 tracks The three metric halos are strapped together with metric halo link, which is an ethernet connection. So that's sending audio out of box number three, which is sitting by the synth, and going into box number one. Box number one routes into the computer, and our final audio gets recorded in the window. So having gone full loop back in the DAW, there's really only one thing you can't do on these external instrument tracks, which is record audio. That's because there's already MIDI data recorded. But there's a cool feature, render in place. So this transfers all your settings onto an audio track. There I've got the MIDI channel still there sending to the synth real time. And there's the audio channel. And the audio channel has all the fader transferred over, the sends, inserts, all your settings preserved. So I just use this feature to transfer all my settings to an audio track. Then I delete that scratch audio and start recording the real overdub on the synth with knob moves and everything. Also in the background I've got running Metric Halo Console. So since the eight audio inputs are being used for monitoring the external instrument channels, I'm multing those inputs here and sending a duplicate for recording the audio channels. And that's it. So let's wrap up day two by playing with Nuendo's MIDI capabilities. You can pitch up down any note just using the four arrow keys. This is playing real time out the modular behind me. It's pretty crazy. Really super fast. This is way faster than messing around in machine. You can draw modulation curves. And you can select everything. Pitch up, pitch down. Uh, MIDI goes on forever. That's a whole separate video. 
Uh, this is also cool. You can select all the events and look at the MIDI for your entire song. So you've got the organ holding down the bottom octave. you got an octave synth up here. Uh, another synth playing a harmony. we got our lead voice. And we got bass sitting there. Actually, the bass is above the organ in this song. So I think that's pretty interesting to see because you want your instruments sitting in different uh, frequency places. You end up doing a lot less EQ that way. So that wraps it up. Project successful. Tomorrow I'll test out the new controller and six new voices.